Okay, there's a couple of very exciting things going on. No. First thing is I'm trying to get uh, the mating surfaces here level, um, which they are not, because on this side right here, I've just done some very light sanding and you can see there's a pretty big hump right there and it also happens to be on the other side here. Um, big enough that if I put a razor blade across it I can see daylight under it so I'm, I'm just working with a sanding block and trying to, um, to get that level um, and have also done more clearing making sure that I have some nice smooth surfaces to be working with on this dovetail joint. So that's the really exciting stuff that's going on right now, which is actually, if I think about it, it's actually not very exciting, but then a lot of fixing guitars, not very exciting. big pump right there. So we'll get that out the best we can. So here's what I here's what I'm doing now is I'm putting the pressure on this neck and then you can see this is a this is a five thou feeler gauge. I've got a little hang up right there. And then it opens up here in the back. And then on this side, it tightens up about there. And then it loosens up as we get here in the back. So we've got some irregular areas. And the way we're gonna get rid of that is we're gonna put this piece of sandpaper here in our joint and just slowly pull it out. And what that's going to do is allow the sandpaper to rub across the high area. And that will help us get the irregularities out. And then that will allow us to help fine tune our uh, left and right. yaw, we would call it. Um, so that we can get our, uh, the side to side or the yaw uh, angle lined up so that the E strings go right parallel down the side of this. First, we got to get it level. Now, here's the downside. Here's the downside of working on old guitars, especially like this, because when it came in, the neck was already doing the wobbly as it was attached. So we don't have any idea how tightly this fit when it was last playing which is kind of a bummer. Okay, so we have tentatively pressed this into place, clamped it down so that the uh, neck is tight against the top. And now's the moment of truth. If you'll remember when we previously put this on, our uh, ruler impacted the top about here and so it would have actually been beneath the soundboard had we left it like that. So, well, that looks better. All right, so this, of course, is just we're mocked up here. This nut is bigger than, um, is taller than we're going to make it. Um, 
And then if we glue that down there, yeah, I think that's the good. Let's uh, get the dovetail cleaned up and tightened up, and then we'll then we'll see where we go. All right, here's where we are at. This fits nice and tight. What I have done is I have got uh, masking tape and what I've been doing is building up layer upon layer of masking tape so that I can get a gauge of how thick I'm going to need to, to make the shims that we're going to use to tighten this back up with. Now, I can pull this in here. And it still falls off here in the back, but this whole back area falls off. We'll still do a little bit of cleaning up there. Oops, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Just for fun, let's do this. Still, again, simulated nut up here, and this nut is a bit high. I'd say a bit high, that's kind of an understatement. Um, this will be lowered a bit. This will be down like this. I'm not worried about fall off in this area because, as has been stated to me, this guitar is going to be a slide guitar. Um, I will make a wedge. I'll make a I'll make a wedge to fit up underneath here, um, but I'm not going to make it so that it's parallel. I'm going to craft some fall off uh, into this up here, so we may still be able to get away with using this original bridge which would be nice. So, that's where we're at. I'm going to go eat supper. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.